Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So we're going to finish up Mudball Wall today. We're going to show off the algorithmic solution for the very, very hard rank. This is where fiends get dicey, but this is also where fiends get pretty cool. We're basically combining our knowledge from the last two difficulties to create a nice algorithm for this one. So it starts the same, fire the default Mudball. And it continues the same, change one feature. Let's change the color. Alright, so it fired in the same, in two of the same places. So if it fired on like either a different section of the wall in that spot, or like a different row or something, we would know that's the feature that gets shifted. But it doesn't, so we can see that the color of the mud ball actually determines the row. So red is going to be in the second row, green is going to be in the third row. Unfortunately this means that we will never need a green mud ball to hit the wall, which is a bit unfortunate. So let's take the red one, and let's change the shape to a square. Alright, so now we know the shape of the mud ball determines where uh, it hits, or which section of the wall it hits. So let's go back to triangle, and let's change it to green. Alright, so we can see that that's the one, uh, the color of the shape is determines the, is the trait that actually gets shifted on the diagonal. So we can see, taking the red triangle, Red triangle gets shifted diagonally. You go down one and left two. So down one, left two. Very interesting. So let's make it a different color. Let's make it a blue. And hopefully it'll fire right there. And it did! Oh! And likewise, we know that'll hit that section of the wall. We can, if we pick the right shape, we can potentially hit it right there. So let's make it a star. Not quite. Circle. Nope. And no circles are needed because that section of the wall is empty, so that means it's going to be a diamond by default. So let's find more of the order that gets shifted. So we can see that there's a dot there that we need to hit. So that's going to correspond to a yellow triangle. Different color. Let's try blue. And actually, it seems that I was wrong. The color does not determine the row. That actually helps get shifted. Rather, it's the color of the shape that determines the column. So yellow shapes will always hit in this column, green shapes will always hit in the middle column, and blue shapes will always hit in the left column. So it's actually the color that gets shifted, not the color of the shape. That was my bad. So now we can see that the vertical order is something red, green, something blue. So red, green, something blue. Interesting. And likewise, we know the horizontal order is something, something, red, something, green. Red, something, green. Red, something, green. Green is going to hit right there. So we need a green mud ball. Diamond pattern. Green color of shape to hit in the middle row. Or middle column. Excellent. We still need to know what's above red in the vertical order, though. However, let's see. Red, something, green. Which means, green mud ball, square, and we need to choose the right color of shape. It's either going to be red or purple. Let's take a gamble. Nope. That'll hit right there. So now we have one over there and two over here. Well, we can hit that one right there, actually. We're going to make it a star. We're going to make it a blue mud ball. Yellow shape. We know that hits in the lower left corner of the section. So now we need one down from blue. We just got to take a chance. We're going to make it a orange mud ball or a purple mud ball. I don't like the orange colored mud balls, so I'm going to take my chance on purple. Should have taken, should have done the orange, but that's okay. Because we've now solved the puzzle. That'll hit it right there. And now using logic, we can figure out where to shoot to make it there. So we know it's going to be a triangle shape. We know it's going to be a green color shape. 
So we need one up from red. So we know the order is something green, something blue. Well, we actually know that purple is right above blue in the order. So purple goes above blue. And that means that has to be orange. So one above red is orange. So an orange mud ball will hit right there. Alright, so that was a little confusing, so we need to do that one again. To make sure you all have the algorithm down, and to make sure I have the algorithm down. Fire the first shape it gives you. Cool. Change one feature and see what happens. Okay. So fired in the exact same place, but in a different section of the wall. So the color determines the section of the wall that it gets fired in. That's good to know. So we've got one over there, two over here, so let's make it red again. Now let's change the shape to a, a circle. Alright. Blue shapes hit in the same column, which means that it's shape that gets shifted on the diagonal. So let's try a square again, but this time we'll make it a green colored shape. Okay, that was pretty descriptive, so we know that the shape gets shifted on the diagonal. If you go up one, it goes left two. So it gets shifted two to the left when you go up. That's important to know. So one up, two to the left will hit there, which means a different colored shape, a different colored shape, but the same red square is going to hit right there. So let's try yellow. Booyah! Alright, so now we need to know what goes two to the left of square in that order. We don't know that, so let's try a different shape. Let's try a triangle. And it also has to be a different color. So let's try red. Okay, so triangle comes in between the square and circle. So it goes square, triangle, circle, something, something. Square, triangle, circle, something, something. But that is the right column we need to hit in. So we'll keep the red colored shape, and let's make it a diamond. Alrighty. So the horizontal order. Square, triangle, circle, diamond, star. We know the horizontal order. We know what it gets shifted by. And now we know which color shape goes in each column. Green goes in the first column, red goes in the second column, blue goes in the third column, yellow in the fourth, purple in the fifth. So let's go back here and try to hit that. So it's going to be a green mud ball. It's going to be blue shape. And now we go, okay, so square, up one, left two, up one, left two, up one, left one. So we're going to pick the, uh, let's do triangle. So triangle goes to the left of, uh, to the right of square by one. Up one, left two, up one, left two, up one, left two. So it's going to be green mud ball, triangle, blue triangle. And that'll hit right there. A better way of doing that would be to take that, say, go down one, right two, down one, right two, down one, right two, and say, oh, it's one to the left of square. What's one to the, or what's one to the right of square? What's right of square? Triangle. Alright, so now things get a little dicey, because now we need to know which uh, color goes to which section. So, let's try to hit this. So that's going to be fourth column, so it's going to be yellow. Uh, it's going to be one, it's going to be in the middle row, one to the right of circle. One to the right of circle is diamond, so it's going to be diamond. And now we have to just choose a random mud ball color. Let's try blue. Boom! We got lucky there. So now we need to hit this. So right up there, we know the triangle's up here. Two to the right of triangle is diamond. So actually, if we just change that color to a purple shape, that'll hit right there. All right, now we need to hit there. So we know that's in the middle column, so it's going to be color blue shape. And it's going to be in the middle row, in the middle. So that's going to actually be a square. And let's make that purple. All right. Purple hits that section of the wall, so we don't need more purple mud balls. The rest are all going to be orange mud balls. Alright. So now we need to hit this one. And hey, we've hit that on this section of the wall. It's a red diamond. That'll hit right there. 
And then we need to hit the one directly to the left of it. One to the left of diamond is circle. So we're going to make it a circle. And then green colored shapes will hit that section of the column. And bada bing bada boom. That's mud ball wall. I'm going to do it one last time, because this is a pretty tricky one to get the hang of. You don't have to watch it if you don't want to. If you already get it, awesome. But just to make sure... Fire this. Alright. Change one feature. Alright. So from this, we can gather that it's either... Red colored shapes go in this last column, or squares go in that last column. Let's try changing the color of the shape. Okay. So from that, in, so from that, we actually gain a lot of information. We now know that squares go in this section of the wall because there's been a square in all of these positions. There's been a square twice in this column, but also in the here. So that means all squares have to be over there. We know, so shape determines which section of the wall it hits, color of the shape determines which column it hits, and then color of the mud ball gets shifted on the diagonal. So, we can see that green is at the rightmost part of the, in the rightmost column up here. Then if you go up, it's in the middle. So if you go up one, it goes to the left two. So it gets shifted to the left two when you go up on the diagonal. So cool. That's nice. I still want to hit this, though, so we know it's got to be a red colored shape. It's got to be a square. Let's try color blue. Let's try color red. Unlucky. But that's okay. Because that actually helps us out. We now know the exact pattern that gets shifted. Or at least we know the vertical pattern that gets shifted. Because again, you go up one, go to the left two. So we got to find out what this is. So it's one to the left of green. So again, we go down one. So we're at the top row now. Right two, down one, right two, down one, right two, down one, right two. That leads to red, which means it's going to be a red mud ball. But it's going to have to have a different colored shape. It could be yellow, it could be blue, or it could be purple. Let's do blue. Yeah! This is wonderful. Alright, so now let's say, let's try to find a tile that's used twice in the wall. Nope, there's no tile that's used in the same place in two different sections of the wall, so let's just try to hit this one. So, actually, no. Because we don't know which color shape will do that. Let's try to hit this one. It's going to be a red mud ball. It's going to be color blue. We just need a different shape. Let's try a star. Alright, so we know stars hit this section of the wall. So that's good. Let's try a circle. Alright. We can hit this one now. Since we know circles go in here, blue shapes will go in this column. So we need... Free up from red. One, two, three. Green. Green mud ball. That shape and that color shape is going to hit right there. And now we need one to the left of that. So it's going to be a different color. It's going to still be a circle, but it's going to be a different color, and it's going to be a different colored shape. Well, we know in this horizontal pattern, one to the left of green is red. So it's going to be a red mud ball. Let's see if we're going to be color yellow shape or color purple shape. Let's try color purple shape. Not quite. Color yellow shape will hit right there, though. Bada beep, bada boom. So now we have everything we need to know just about. We just don't know which shape corresponds to which of those walls. So let's go back to star, because we got to hit these two. Let's start with this one. So it's going to be in the fourth column, so it's going to be a purple uh, colored shape. Now we need to know what color mud ball it's going to make. So we know the vertical pattern is green, purple, orange, red, blue. Green, purple, orange, red, blue. So let's take this, and we go... We know if you go up one, it'll go to the left two. 
So let's say, up one, left two, up one, left two. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. going to be green. Green mud ball with a purple star is going to hit right there. Now we need to hit in this upper left corner. We know that color yellow shapes hit in that first color. Stars hit in this section of the wall, so now we need to know what shape's going to go here. So up one, we're in the bottom row, left two. Up one, left two, up one, left two. It's going to be an orange mud ball. So we know that pattern goes there, and it's constant across that uh, column. So for those of you who are still lost, so we, we've seen the vertical pattern here on this last column of the first section of the wall. That's going to be that exact same pattern with the exact same color shape, but just a different shape in each section of the wall. So for example, green, purple, orange, red, blue. On this section of all, it's going to be green, purple, orange, red, blue. 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 On the last column of every single section of the wall. The only thing that determines the section of the wall is the sh uh, shape itself. Everything else stays the same. Likewise, we also have the horizontal uh, order. Or another way to think about it, we've got this order. Green, purple, orange, red, blue. And it gets shifted on the diagonal. So... You can see we have uh, green here, and we also have green here. So if you go up one, up one from green, well, that there's nothing above it, so you go to the bottom. Then left two, that's where green is. So that essentially shifts on the diagonal, but the pattern stays the same. So green's here, so it would still go green, purple, orange, red, blue. Likewise, we've got red here, so it would be green, pur purple, orange, red, blue over here as well. So using this knowledge, we can figure out where to hit next. So now we've just got to choose a shape we haven't chosen yet. Let's do triangle. Let's try to hit it there. That is a red mud ball with a blue colored shape. All right, wrong part of the wall. That's OK. If we make it a diamond, it'll hit right there. So now we have to hit this part of the wall. So we're going to make it a triangle. It's in the fourth column, so it's going to be a purple sh uh, colored shape. Now, looking at the order, we've got this from here. So up one, left two, up one, left two. It's going to be an orange mud wall. And we literally used all of the mud we could. By using the algorithm, you will be safe. How fortunate for Zumbinis that you are their guide! Alrighty, that does it for Mud Ball Wall. All the solutions and all the difficulties. That one only had an algorithmic solution. There's no heuristic that can give you shortcuts in that one. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope to see you for the next episode of Zumbinis. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.